So this is like what March, beginning of March in France looks like. We had a whole week of um, Siberian winter. Uh, hundreds, of, I think, hundreds of people died homeless in the uh, in the streets of Europe. They they just ended up like fish sticks. They just froze to death. There's a woodpecker here. I hear it every morning. They're, they're, did you hear it? Hey mate, we're on the fire. More up north though, there was even a lot more snow. And of course, uh, you know, the, the big parts in the middle of France, uh, Le Massif Central, and in the east, it's all mountains, you know, all a, a, a thousand meter high plateau, and even higher, of course. And uh, there, you know, winter starts in November. So France is not like the Eiffel Tower or in the Mediterranean, you know. Most of the country is, um, well, it's, it's, it's a lot of highland plateau and uh, a lot of forest, 24% of it. It's really a beautiful country. Uh, mistletoe. No, and actually the reason for which they let you die as a homeless, you know, a lot of ex-soldiers, there are lots of here where I'm, I'm here at now, waging war for the, for the, the empire, the, I wanted to say the Imperium, Latin. Oh, I see another tent there, what is it? Something. Oh. And, uh, you know, if you don't work, they can't take like 50% of your income, you know, by taxes. So Pharaoh, they can't, the aristocracy, they can't parasite on you. So there's no reason, you know, to keep you alive. Uh, you have no purpose anymore. They can't milk the cow, yeah? So... If you want to survive, you have to work so they can take half of what you earned. And at the end of the month, you don't have anything left. And at the end of your life, you got nothing left. It's all calculated. Even if you have property, you know, you can't even uh, inherit it to your, to your children. Like, you know, the, we are, but of course, you know, the only, what makes out a good soldier is your mind. That makes out a human being, you know, your mind. Be strong and um, you have to function under severe conditions. This is how I was selected in the army, to function under severe conditions, under all conditions. So it's not really you know, having a lot of muscles and, well, it's handy, of course, you know, a little bit. Don't overdo it, you know. You can't scratch your back anymore. Then you're really a cow, you know. <laughs> Not a milking cow, yeah. And uh, it makes out the difference. Function under all conditions, yeah. The mind is the weapon. They're the biggest muscles. And you can develop it, you know, train it, exercise and do things like this. Develop your mind and survive. It makes it stronger. Eh? Okay. So I'm getting up through there here. So rolling up my tent so it fits in my Bergen. So you see, here is where I slept. It's all melted because the temperature in your tent, you know, it's, uh, it cuts the wind. It's, uh, your body temperature say, stays a, a lot inside, so the snow will all melt. So, you see, here's more snow, and here I took it away. If you sleep in the snow, you must take it away. I would have a spade, but that's an extra 800 grams, almost a kilo. You know, so. 
I do it like this with my foot. It takes 10 minutes, but you appreciate it because look, it's not really that wet. If I wouldn't have done it, all this snow, what's there, it would be in my tent now. Water. And then I have to put it into my burger. And uh, it will make a mess, yeah? So always take the snow away as much as you can, just with your foot. And, uh, well, and get the sausage in, eh? You know, I'm not showing you difficult bad grills things, you know, like, uh, um, you know, in the middle of snakes and, you know, you have to take three airplanes to get to your favorite jungle first, spend a lot of money, I mean, who can do it? No, this is just easy things, you can, you can do the survival stuff really easy with some good equipment here in Europe or in, the, in this America, Canada or Australia and um, do it yourself, you know without nothing really and it's about the feeling you know I get the same feeling as uh, bear growls in the jungle I suppose well almost uh, can always go to the McDonald's eh? and get some uh, infertile uh, hamburgers and a sandwich with some infertile stuff in it that, will, that you can keep for the next three months and still bite it yeah, so just do it yourself. Feeling is the same, you know, if you can do this, you know, you don't have to take three or four airplanes and some taxis and, you know, you can just do it in your backyard and then go use your own toilet. Now I'm pretty snowed in. Look, there was a blizzard yesterday. I should have filmed it actually. I, you know, I forgot about it. Uh, it was quite impressive. So I'm not even at the heights here in France. So this is what France looks like in the um, mid-March. Uh, yeah. And I'm not even at the plateau, at the heights. There are several plateaus, really big area. One is called the Massif Central. Uh, the Massif Central. It's, it's all over the middle of France. And it's like, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's thousand meters high or something. And the other one is in the east, it's, it's the plateau of the Jura. And then in the north, I'm quite north here, like in the uh, uh, Lothring. Yeah, it's, quite, uh, it's quite cold as well. And in the, 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 uh, the French Ardennes, you know, like the Battle of the Bulge, the Ardennes. Well, the, the, this is like the climate, like, you know, you get there. So France is not like, you know, sunshine, beaches, the Eiffel Tower, you know. Well, in the south, you know, at, at this moment, in the south, you know, the Mediterranean, they're sitting in the sun. They got the happy climate there, you know. Well, most of France is more like this, you know. Beautiful, actually. <coughs> and in the middle of the night, I heard a, f a tree falling down or uh, some branches. So that's why I'm, I'm here in the middle, especially if it snows, you know, the branches get heavy with all the snow on it. Uh, the temperature is working on the wood. So you better not put it in the... Uh, in the woods and there's a river next to it so the soil is quite you know it's not hard it's not hard enough and uh, so I put in the middle of a um, <coughs> so well, of a meadow or whatever it is yeah so I have to get the snow away I already you can see this I took some away with my boots you know because it all melts so that's why there's not snow here and it would be a lot wetter if I wouldn't have taken away with my shoes. Well, your shoes get a bit wet, but it's a good thing to do. And I'll take it away around it now and so put it all in the uh, in the good old Bergen, eh? Fantastic material, the Bergen. Uh, it's fantastic. It's the best. British Army bag. Yeah. Okay. Nice mistletoe all over. 
like Christmas. <laughs> Time to get pissed, eh? <laughs>